Today we are making this gorgeous, gorgeous bondage cage bralette. Look at her. Look, imagine this on you. Can you just imagine? I mean, this dress form does nothing for this bra. She has pecs. She doesn't have a buzz. So you cannot get the full effect of this. But when you make it to fit your size, your underbreast would be here. So you would have your cup right there and you would have your straps underneath that. And then you have your waist strap here. And then you turn around and you have your caged back. This is a gorgeous bralette. Girls, let's get this done. And maybe it will be done before Valentine's Day because it's what? February 6th right now. Anyways, let's get this done before Valentine's Day. And even if it's not, this is a great seductive bralette. You can wear this to the beach. You can wear this for your loved one at night. Either way, it's gorgeous. Let's go. Let's get into our materials. You will need your measuring tape, your five millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, your darning needle for weaving in those ends, and two stitch markers. The yarn that I'm using is from Lion Brand um, Pound of Love. It's a category four weight yarn, and I would say you need about 250 um, yards of yarn for this project, probably less, but and depending on your size, I am a size 38 double D. Yes. Um, so for that 38 double D, I used about 250 yards of yarn. So that should give you an appropriate gauge of how much yarn you might need. So let's get started. While I clean up my space, I just want to take this opportunity to thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It's a free way to support my channel. Thank you again. Okay, so we're going to make a chain that goes from the center of your breast to the bottom of your breast. But not, cov not full coverage. Just from the center of your breast to the bot here look at this look at this picture here because clearly i'm not no, i'm not explaining this properly look at this picture it tells you exactly where that measurement should be so not under the cup of your breast but just you know we're doing a peekaboo so you want to have that part out so right there for me that's gonna be a chain of 13. And if you're a size double D, you can just follow along. I don't really think the number size matters. I think that's just for your back. So if you're a cup size double D, you can just follow along. I'm doing 13. And you can also hold this up against yourself to measure if you have your appropriate size. Once you have the size chain that you need, you're gonna go ahead, chain two, and then make a double crochet into that third stitch from the hook. So that's one, two, three, right there. And go ahead and make your double crochet. And just make one double crochet all the way down the chain until you get to the second to last stitch. Once you get here, stop and wait for me. Now that we are at that last stitch, we are going to make five stitches in there. So this is what we do. One double crochet. Another double crochet. chain one and then you're gonna do two more double crochets so that's one and two all in the same stitch so 
so you can see here you have one double crochet another double crochet a chain and then another double crochet and another double crochet that's five stitches that's gonna create that shape that you want at the top of your bra or your bralette we're gonna go ahead and do double crochets back down so you go into the next stitch and you're gonna do double crochets all the way down until you reach your last stitch I recently got into the habit of putting stitch markers on my first and last stitch because I got a comment on my Etsy that my patterns were a little bit difficult to decipher at the ends. So I just started putting stitch markers here to help people, um, you know, so you don't go into your turning stitches. You can have your last and first stitches marked. So go ahead and do your double crochets all the way down your row and we'll meet up at your last stitch. We're at the end here. You're gonna chain two and work your way back up. Once you get to that chain one space, meet me back here. Right here, we have that chain one space. Let me see if you, you can see it. We have the chain one space right here. This is where we're gonna do our five stitches again. So you're gonna make two double crochets. I like to go through the, the loop. You don't have to do that. You can just go into the space. So make two double crochets. You're gonna do a chain one and then do two more double crochets. And then you're gonna go ahead and double crochet back down the row and you're just gonna do that for as many um, as many rows as you need uh, for the coverage that you would like keep in mind that this is supposed to be a romantic bralette and you you're supposed to expose as much skin as possible that you're comfortable with um, so I'm gonna do seven rolls seven rolls I always do that I'm gonna do seven rolls for my double D cup and you do as many rolls as you're comfortable with. Now that we have completed our last stitch on the one cup, anyway, do not cut your yarn yet. We're going to make a row on the edge of our cup. Because we're working on um, the side stitches of the double crochets, we're going to do two single crochets in each stitch. So, to start that process we're just going to move this out of the way 
we already have a double crochet here so this just works for me if you ever do corners you can do the corner however you're comfortable with but because I have a double crochet here I do in, in the same stitch I do a half double crochet and then I go ahead and do a single crochet all in that same stitch so now I've created my turning corner here and then in this these next stitches I'm gonna do two single crochets so two do two single crochets in each uh -oh, side stitch if you can hear that in the background that is my son he is playing let's all say it together Fortnite, <laughs> as he is in every video that i make And when you have that done on your cup, you go ahead, you secure your yarn, and then you're gonna cut it. Okay, so go ahead, do that again to make your next cup. And when you have your two cups already made, meet me back here so we can continue making our bralette. We've got our two cups done. So what I did was I counted the stitches along the bottom here until I got to 24 stitches. And I did that on both. I essentially want my peekaboo strap to connect at the last four or five stitches so all you have to do is count four to five stitches in and that will be the point where you connect your strap and you'll see what I'm talking about in a second did I say inches please don't tell me it's inches stitches hopefully I said stitches four to five stitches my brain is just being um crazy today so we're going to chain three we, we still have our cup it's just finished we didn't attach it to anything we're gonna go ahead and do a chain three and then we are going to connect our um cups together make sure that they're facing up After you have connected your cups with the chain three, you just want to keep going. And um, so count how many stitches you have skipped along here and make a chain of that length. So I, I did not use 23 of these stitches. I'm going to connect at the 24th stitch. So I'm going to go ahead and make a chain of... 23 all right so I have my chain of 23 I'm gonna connect it here to this 24th stitch.
with a single crochet and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a single crochet to every stitch left on the row I'm gonna take that stitch marker out. We no longer need that there. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and just make a chain off the edge about an inch long. So go ahead and do that. That's longer than an inch. So actually, Let's make that chain off the edge about two and a half inches long. All right, so I have my chain off the edge about two and a half inches long. So we're going to chain one and then turn your work and work back up this chain here. Make sure you have your cups facing the right side so you don't get them twisted. So go ahead and skip one and start single crocheting into each stitch in that chain, working all the way along this chain. Once you're back at your edge here, continue working single crochets along this row. I'm right here at our chain and I'm just gonna continue. All right, so we reached the edge of our cup and we're just gonna continue along the chain three that we did and work our way up to that first stitch right there on the next cup so we have the one uh -oh. two and and we're gonna go right into the first stitch on our opposite cup so right there and we're gonna go into a second stitch right here um, single crochet excuse me and turn your work and you're gonna make a slip stitch right into that first stitch there just make a slip stitch right into it and we're gonna have to go back into it so don't make it too tight and then one more slip stitch so you have two slip stitches and then Continue with single crochets all the way down. Thank you. 
At the end, we're going to chain one, turn your work and go back up that stitch like you regularly would do, skipping that first stitch. You're gonna work right into those two slip stitches you did with your single crochet. And I guess I made mine kind of tight. Go right into both of them. And then we're gonna go into this first available stitch on the bralette, on the cup, I'm sorry. And we're gonna do a slip stitch in that stitch. And then you're gonna turn your work. And you're gonna skip that first stitch. Do not chain one. Skip that first stitch and go into the second stitch from the hook and do a slip stitch. And then make a single crochet next to that and then go ahead and make single crochets all the way down your row. We're at the end again, just chain one, turn your work, and work back up. Work into that single crochet stitch. I mean, I'm sorry, work into that slip stitch that you did there with a single crochet. And this stitch here is kind of hard to see. The slip stitch that you did on the previous row, it's still there. It should still be there. And you're just gonna work into it Put a single crochet right into that and then put a slip stitch into the next available stitch on your following cup and that's it for that side so you can fasten that off and cut it Starting from your opposite cup, lift up that strap we just did and find your first stitch on that opposite cup and attach your yarn. I'm just going to attach my yarn with a slip knot this time. In that first stitch on your cup, Touch your yarn. You're basically going to do the same thing you did with your first um, chain on this cup here. Chain three because that was the chain that you have to account for in the middle of your cups. That was this chain here. So you're going to chain three. And then go ahead and chain the amount of stitches that you have on this cup that you marked off. Um, so if you had 23 here and then you went in on the 24th stitch with your single crochet, you do the same thing here. I did, I crocheted my three for that chain in the middle and then I'm going to crochet another 24 and then attach it where I put my stitch marker here.
and attach your chain to your cup with a chain um sorry with a single crochet and then go ahead and single crochet the rest of the stitches on that row And then remember to make your two and a half inches off of that cup. So for me, the two and a half inches was eight stitches. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna chain one. Turn my work. And then go back up that row with single crochets. Once you reach the end of your row, do a single crochet into the first available stitch from your cup. And then I want you to do a slip stitch into that next available stitch. Turn your work. Do not chain one or anything make a slip stitch into the second slitch slitch into the second stitch from the hook and then single crochet down the rest of your row go ahead and single crochet down your row and do another row of single crochets back up and stop at the end of your row so we can connect our strap to this cup. I am back at my cup. And so right here, you'll see where we have that slip stitch that we didn't make a chain one, but we have that stitch there that we just, <laughs> just stretched across kinda. We're going to go ahead into that stitch and make a single crochet. So you can kind of see it right there. That's the stitch. Hopefully you can see it on yours because that's what's the most important part. And then you make a single crochet. You go into the next available stitch on your cup, make a slip stitch, turn your work, skipping that first stitch, you go into the next stitch, going in, going into the second chain, the second stitch from your hook. I cannot get my thoughts together today. And you make a slip stitch, and then in the next stitch you make a single crochet and then you go ahead single crochet down your entire row and then single crochet back up your row and we'll meet back here at our cup for our, um i think that would be our final row for our band like this at the end of that row back at my cup so you have that slip stitch on your previous row right before you get to your cup you're gonna put one single crochet in there and then you have that other stitch that you kind of just stretched across we're gonna skip over that we are not gonna work into that stitch we're just gonna put a slip stitch into the next available stitch on our cup and then you can go ahead fasten and oh, my hook doesn't want to come out okay So 
your bralette should look like this. It'll just look like a regular bralette, but when you have it on, you will have that peekable with your under bust. So fasten and cut. So now we're going to reattach our yarn to the last um, stitch on our two and a half inch band there. So before we even get started, we're going to make a chain across. This chain is going to be the equivalent to both of your cups. So for instance, my cups are 28 stitches across the bottom here. So 28 and 28, that's already 56. But we have to remember to add these three in the middle. So that's 59. And then we have to remember to add the stitches from our two and a half inch band that we did here. For me, that was eight stitches. So that brings my total up to 75. So I have, I already know I have to make a chain of 75, but now I have to uh, also add two stitches. So I attach my yarn here and then I'm going to make a chain of two. And then I'm gonna put my stitch marker on that second chain because I'm not gonna work into that one. And then I'm going to crochet across. I know I needed to make a chain of 75, but then I also have to add these six stitches, which will bring my chain up to 81. So if you need to write it down, just write it down. The total of both of your cups, plus three, plus the stitches on your two and a half inch band, and then add six more stitches and that's how long your chain will be hopefully that makes sense so go ahead and make that chain if you're following my um my count my stitches are 81. i've done my chain i'm gonna go ahead and attach it to my band with a slip stitch and then you want to mark off with your stitch marker those three stitches And then you're gonna secure and you want to secure and cut this tail here so for where we put our stitch marker we're gonna start in the chain, I mean, in the stitch next to it, and make single crochets all the way down your chain. Okay, I'm back on my stitch marker, and I put one single crochet in the stitch right before my stitch marker and I did not go into that stitch. So I chain one, we're gonna turn, just make a single crochet back across our row until we get to the end here. I moved my stitch marker down here so I'll know when I get to the end of my row because sometimes the work it it um twists and I do get confused. So if you get confused, just add a stitch marker at the end of your row so you can identify it. And I'm gonna do the same for this end as well. 
You see, I'm already confused. <laughs> Where's the end of it? Okay. Complete this row and then work one more single crochet row back across and we'll meet up then. All right, so we've got our row done. If you'd like your row a little bit thicker, you can add as many rows as you'd like. Try it on, hold it up to the front of you to see where this band would wrap around your waist slash belly, depending on how wide you make this band. Remember, this is your creation. If you want this band the size of a full length, top and just have this peekable you can do that as well it's all up to you clothes in the back is a piece of cake so let's start with that now what you want to do is go ahead and secure your yarn at the end of your row and then cut it Okay, so now we're gonna start with our, excuse me, with our straps. So our strap has to go around up here, down to our back, and then it has to connect to this band and crisscross and go back into this band. So what we're gonna do is just make our strap with a little bit of extra length my cup and bra size is a 38 double d so i'm going to go ahead and make my um string to get um to my back 12 inches but i also want enough string to crisscross and wrap around and then tie so we're gonna double that for the crisscross right and then we're going to add 12 more inches for whatever space i might need in case that's damn bloated whatever i'm just gonna go ahead and safely add uh, a 20 excuse me i'm gonna go ahead and just for myself do 36 inches if you're thinner i my top is a size large so if you're thinner than me you can do 24 inches if you're thinner than that you can go ahead i wouldn't go down to 12 inches i probably the least i probably do is 24 inches or 22 inches just because you want to crisscross it and tie it um and this string is you're gonna have to loosen it up to get into your top as well so let's go ahead and attach our strap to that top cone of your bralette right there. So where we did that chain one, you can insert your hook there. So insert your hook and just do your chain and chain to your desired length. Remember my chain is gonna be 36 inches. Guys, I have been watching these documentaries on Netflix. I promise you documentaries are so addictive. I watch like, I just watched um, Wild Wild Country. I know I'm late to the party, and then I watched uh, Searching for Sheila, I think it's called. Guys, if you have any more documentaries like that, please recommend them for me. I'm so inter interested in seeing them. Anyway, I'm just chatting. Let's go ahead and make your chain to your desired length and meet me back here once you're done. Okay, I have my chain that is 36 inches. 
when I stretch it. So. So stretched is actually a little bit longer than 36 inches, but that's stretched. So do that for both sides. And we'll meet back up to assemble our top. All right. So after you have your straps done, you're going to take your bralette. Turn it over so that it's upside down. Let's straighten out your strap. Um, if you kept your stitch markers on, you'll know your strap is straight when your stitch markers are both on the bottom of your strap. Align the same. And to start, you're gonna put your strap in that first stitch on this strap here. So I like to use my um, crochet hook. And just pull it through. Like that. And then we're going to Just fold your bralette in as if it were folding around your body. Fold it a little bit there. Fold it a little bit there. So it's kind of mimicking it being on your body. And crisscross your straps. So we're just going to put it back through. We're putting the strap through our side stitches here, through our single crochet side stitches. So put it on the bottom, put your strap through the bottom of this single crochet side stitch here. Don't worry, what's, once it's on you and you're able to pull it and adjust it, it'll fit. Do the same for the opposite side. Okay, and then you just want to do that to this last strap down here. Remove your stitch marker. Put your crochet hook in there and the bottom. Put your crochet hook in the bottom um, stitch on that row. Cross your strap over. Pull it through. Do the same thing to the opposite side. Put your crochet hook through where your stitch marker is. Well, move your stitch marker. Okay, so pull everything through, adjust everything as you need to, make sure you weave in your ends, and um, 
your bralette is done now let's see how it looks on the mannequin because this is very seductive i don't even want to put this on myself in front of the camera look at her she's done hopefully your cleavage looks a lot better than hers because she has pecs and <laughs> pecs aren't necessarily what this bralette is made for anyways this is the front your under bust would come out there and then we turn her around let me see if i can actually get oh look at that there we go so here you are here's the front of her and then you turn her around and this is what the back looks like very cage very seductive i can't wait to put her on and go get in the mirror hopefully it's not too sexy that i can't show you guys but just in case it is you get an idea of what she looks like on this beautiful sparkly dress form i hope you guys love it because i love it i enjoyed making it with you if you do make it post pictures let me see what you look like in it and i hope you guys make it in time enough for valentine's day this thing was really really quick this thing took me probably like two hours to make thank you guys for watching thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a new video